See, I got my own plane. I told you I would. And I got like a laptop. And apparently I smoke again. Thought I quit that, but guess uh, that was due to the alcohol I drank. And we're in the middle of the Pacific somewhere, I suppose. Hey, look, alcohol. Let's make a cocktail. Ah, right. Didn't think you would, uh, hey, uh, guys. Guys, you can barely see over the console there. <sighs> Don't you just hate it when YouTube doesn't give you enough money to hire anything else than midgets? Alright, oh, shit. See, there's a fire hazard just here. <sighs> you know, just just once, once per, uh, with professionals, just once. Ah well. Chuck, 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 chuck. Ah, uh, well, let's get back to my seat then. Let's get back to my seat. Arizona, eh? Oh well. And get some nice sleep. Ah, nothing bad could ever happen to us. Hey, stop that! Ah! Nope. 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 Don't want. Guys, guys, there's a hole in the plane. For fuck's sake, do something. Do something. Can't hold my breath. Ow. Oh dear god. Dear god, my mid just exploded. That's bad. Let's get the fuck out of here. Try <sighs> not out. Give you enough money. Oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Uh, that hurt. Um, well, looks like we're stranded. Stranded into the I don't know where the ocean somewhere. Get it because stranded deep. Ah, uh, never mind. You guys are no fun. But seriously, welcome to the Auto Gaming Squad. Extra here. I'm very and truly sorry for this dreadful intro, but I just well. I thought I'd be creative, more or less. Right? Um, that's great. My game crashed. Well, see you in a bit. Now, hang on here, Gex. This island looks completely different. Yeah, well... Um, seems that the game crashed before it could save, so... <laughs> I just started a new game because, um, well, I did have an old save game because I have been sitting on this game for a while. And yeah, I just wanted to start fresh with you guys. So, well, let's try that again. That cool intro we just did. Anyway, <laughs> um, welcome to the Auto Gaming Squad. Um, I just thought that we, uh, might want to take a look at this here because well we finished the Ethan Carter video 
uh, series and um, I didn't have anything else for Wednesdays and since I have been sitting on this game as I said for a while uh, I thought well now it is in a more or less playable state so why not give it a try for the let's play so what is this anyway uh, in case you have been hiding on the dark side of the moon and don't know what this is this is stranded deep and everybody and his mother is playing it on youtube as it seems so of course i will as well uh, what is it anyway it is a survival game now you do know my uh, hatred for survival games in general but this is more to the fact that the survival games we saw so far also always involved uh, zombies and PvP and assaults with uh, sniper rifles, which is totally not my thing. So here we are instead. Uh, we do have assholes here as well, which come in the form of sharks. Well, sharks so far have not really been an issue in this game, um, at least not until the latest update which changed things quite a bit so um, be prepared to probably get eaten by a shark at one time or another in the future and um, yes i just hope that this recording uh, will work because uh, i have recently uh, switched over or tried to switch over from obs to dx3 because well obs crashes a bit more often than i like and when it does then the whole recording is gone, which cost me um, a couple of recordings already. Some of which I could, um, you know, to some extent fix, some of which I couldn't. So um, the X3 at least uh, so far has been able to at least save some form of file in the end. So um, yeah, we'll just give it a try and I'll see if it works. If it doesn't, then. I'm gonna switch over to OBS. So, um, as I said, this is a survival game and you are obviously uh, the lone survivor of a plane crash unless one of these midgets made it out alive, which I don't think. Um, and we're stranded on an island. What, uh, what a coincidence, according to the game title. And what you must do is you want to survive. So, basically, if we take a look, we have so far survived zero days. But then again, we haven't had any night or anything else. Now, if you um, hold the F key, then you see the uh, temperature, which is some form of arbitrary number that no sane person or European could ever read. 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Can I change that to Celsius? Don't think I can. What I can do is show this, which is basically the uh, well your life stats so it's health hunger and thirst um which is one of the features i really like about this game because there's no ui it's just you know how beautiful view of the uh i don't know well not caribbean but the the pacific region i guess somewhere and um the only other inventory uh, the only other interface you have is your inventory which you get by tapping uh by hitting the tab key which brings up this which is basically your inventory and as you can see it is not really huge which is one of the main problems that I have with the game so you have eight slots which can carry up to four items each uh, which might seem a lot but in all honesty it really isn't because um, well as you will see uh, in the future this game involves a lot of uh, traveling so what you want to do usually is you know, for example, put your pedal in the lifeboat, so you have one more free slot. So, what actually is to do in this game? Well, the idea is that you want to survive, and you survive by eating and drinking. And here comes the first twist, what can you actually eat and what can you actually drink? Well, one of the things that were able, uh, that were um, good for that were in the past coconuts so I can pick one and then I can pick it up and I can't really do anything because as you can see it is really just you know just fresh from the tree what you have to do is equip one of your uh, one of your weapons if you will or tools in this case we just use the pocket knife and you hit it 
couple of times because the knife is shit. And then we have a coconut, but we still can't drink it because it is, you know, it's just still sealed. So we hit it once again. And now it's a drinkable, co drinkable coconut. Sorry. Right. Oh. Now? Well, I don't really need to drink, I think. No, not really, but just, you know, for demonstration purposes. Look, look, look. Now we are even more full on water, if, if that was possible. So the next thing you can do is you can hit it a couple more times. And there we go. We have two coconut halves, which we can then eat, which should, yep, you can see it. Raise our hunger, I'll just use up the last one. Now, previously in the last versions, you had uh, coconuts as far as the eye could reach, really, because they just grew again and again and again on trees and rather fast as well. Um, they fell down, you know, when, when you cut the tree, which of course then they don't grow again, but um, you just had loads and loads of coconuts. So I'm interested to see how that has changed because in the last change notes it just said that uh, they had changed the uh, coconuts, or at least uh, coconut spawn rate, and um, but not really how in, in what way they changed. So um, no clue about that. They did add a couple of you know new animals and, and um, all sorts of stuff really. Um, this is uh, I should uh, point that out as well. This is still in early access. So everything basically is subject to change and things will be broken, there will be bugs, there will be crashes and, and whatnot. But, um, you know, that's that's what you have to deal with if you buy into early access. So, you see one of those uh, before mentioned assholes over there. Really, in the past, uh, sharks weren't really an issue because they just weren't really aggressive. That has probably changed much. I didn't really play it yet so far. I just saw a couple of videos about it. And from what I could see, that was really, you know, you get a rough time with the sharks as well as not only having um, tiger sharks and great white sharks as we had before, but also uh, I think black tip sharks, if I'm not mistaken, not quite sure. Also, you get the Marlins now, which are also considered aggressive creatures, so that's basically like uh, aggressive, passive and uh, neutral creatures as far as I know. So aggressive, of course, means that they will attack you after some time at least, if not immediately, you know, if, if you're in close proximity. Um, then there are creatures that uh, that don't really do anything, that are just part of the scenery, which is, for example, whales. Uh, so you can't kill them, you, um, they, can't, they won't kill you, they, you can ride on their backs and whatnot. Uh, they're just, you know, for, for flavor, basically. Well, eating flavor, but you get what I mean. Um, then there's also, like, neutral creatures which don't really attack, but, for instance, if you step on an urchin, that's kind of bad. So you might want to avoid that, but that's also a bit difficult. Well, not difficult, technically, but um, since these... Uh, guys hide like in, in coral reefs and whatnot. Uh, you you can just you know swim through them accidentally. So well, there's that. And then there's also like smaller fish, like um, I think clownfish for example were added this time. And yeah, and then we have these things here, which are really what what you're after more or less because there's only so many things you can do with like palm trees and and rocks and whatnot. So um, you want to, you know, go through the world, travel to other islands, search wrecks, uh, and look for these hard cases. And also there are like uh, lockers and um, cabinets and stuff. So you can all find all kinds of items uh, as well. So let's take a look what we have in here. A cloth, that's great. Now, <laughs> the cloth was added also in the last patch, and as far as I know, it doesn't do anything yet, so... Yeah, and... Well, that's cool. That's not cool. Hey, asshole. Go away. Shush. Look at me. I've got a pocket knife. 
Yeah, you better get away. Whoop, he's coming. Never mind. Oh, and another one. That's just good. Uh, but what I wanted to, uh, to say is I found this already one time and I just think it's hilarious, you know. Cast away, anyone? Pacific Ocean, as I said, Island Key. Colin, who's Colin? Is that some garbage that makes no sense clearly goes here? Nobody something possibly nobody could possibly read this with its resolution. Anyway, yes we can, and we just did. So, uh, just, you know, there, there's a couple of easter eggs concerning, um, you know, like, uh, plenty, it's a huge box as well, uh, <laughs> aimed at, you know, like, Castaway and, and I think Lost as well, maybe, not quite sure on that one. Um, I think there's also, like, Wilson volleyball head thing. Anyway, we'll just uh, take this. It does not really have any use, but, you know, just for uh, decorating, maybe, or whatever. So, okay, as you can hear, my inventory is full now. So, this is where the problems really start, if I have to be honest, because, as you can see, we... I mean, we do have some stuff, but we can't really do much with it, because... You know, let, let's just show you the crafting system real quick. Um, so, for instance, we have this stick here. You can drag it with the right mouse button over here. So we have two sticks already. And I can add one more, and one more, and one more. And now I can build a campfire by pressing and holding the left mouse button. Which basically means I can... I need five sticks for one campfire. Uh... And I can carry eight with these two places, so it's just a campfire and not much else really. If you want a campfire and um, have it so it lasts a bit longer, you need to add six rocks. So at the moment we have five. Um, it's not really all that much, considering how many items you need. And um, let's just drop some. Oops, drop some shit up here. And. Um, yeah, that's a bit of an issue, really, because, um, you know, you you can only do so far, uh, so much with the materials you find on the island. For example, which is really great, is that we have two yucca plants just next to each other. And the cool thing with these is that they will just uh, regrow after a while. At least they did in the first patches. So you need lashings, for example. Let's just show you that real quickly. We just put one here. Take one stick and we take one rock. Zip. Go, and then we can make a crude axe, which is great. So, with the crude axe now, because sun is setting quite fast, um, actually, thing is, I'm not sure if you want to stay on this island really because it doesn't have much going for it so far. You know, there weren't like some islands have cool features like racks on them and just, you know, being being cool looking by themselves. This one does have the two yucca plants, which is nice, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe what we want to do is just, um, you know, basically grab some stuff from this island um, and go on to the next one, uh, which tends to be, you know, because you need. First and foremost, you need those uh, those boxes. So in order to get them, you need to be closer to to racks, like you know these, which aren't really racks, but just you know they are racks, but just you know empty small ones. And also diving uh, during night isn't the best and the most uh, most clever thing to do. So, what shall we do? What shall we do? 
I guess let's just... Hmm. I would make a fire, but we just use up one of our rocks, so I don't think we have enough rocks for the... Well, there's one. Um, which means we have five now. I think we need six. The idea is basically you can... Um, when you craft your fire, you can put some rocks uh, on it as well and craft, um, I don't know what it's called, like a reinforced fire more or less, um, which will then burn longer. And then if you have the materials, you can add some sticks and lashings, I think, as well and make, um, make a fire pit so you can... Uh, you know, put some fish on there and, and crabs and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to stay on this island, uh, in all honesty. So what we will do is we'll just uh, pick up the most precious things, which are the rocks, in my opinion. The cloth, I'm not too sure about. I would, <laughs> I would use the box, but it's just takes up too much space for my taste so what we will do instead is throw this on the ground no that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to place it in a more uh you know visible place if we ever come back to this yeah that's better if we ever come back to this place just so we can you know see it a bit better maybe let's see if i can do that a bit Clever, well, it's upset. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Can't be bothered. So, um, yeah, let's just cut down some palm tree, I suppose. Mm, we have. Should I leave one rock? Ah, I don't know. Rocks are important. No, we're gonna keep the rock, even if it's just one and takes up like a whole bunch, a whole bunch of space. So instead, we're gonna use this and just yeah, just cut down the uh, little one. There's my axe. There's my axe. Also, which was uh, one thing that was added in the last patch was that you can now hold down your mouse button to cut down trees and, and paddle and stuff which is really really great because recording this would have been a nightmare if I had to like click like a maniac um, so yeah now you have the uh, the whole tree and you can drag it around as you can see and um, previously you could also play Quidditch on these but I don't think you still can so basically you could fly around with these however um, you can still climb them so if I go over here for example and get on the tree you can see uh, I have quite quite a nice visibility up here but the more important part of this is that you can actually use these to climb on shipwrecks that are either like on the island itself or maybe like um, hello Mr. Shark um, or maybe you know close to the shore basically because one problem we have with uh, with Rex is that some of them, like the smaller, uh, you know, fishing, private sh fishing boat ones, have like the the bridge on top, and you have um, basically a, a cabin underneath, and you can get in there just by you know opening a hatch, and that's it. Because once you're down there and the thing is not underwater, so you can't swim out, then you're just stuck. <laughs> so the problem is. Um, if you can manage to get a tree to that ship, you can basically put the tree trunk in it and climb back out again. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. And now we just, you know, chop it up. I'm just gonna use one of these locks here. And we're gonna get, I think, four uh, sticks from that. Should be just fine, actually. Thinking about it. Uh, damn it, I need to, I just, let's do this, 
Uh, problem is, which I forgot, I need to uh, get rid of some because I need to have the uh, I need the pedal to be equipped. So I need one more slot as well. Oh well, let's just maybe let's just uh, um, cut up some more ingredients here. So if we ever come back to this island, then we have a couple more materials because, as I said before, these uh, yucca things grow back, so, um, you know, why not harvest them, basically, uh, now and go back to them later. Also, there was one wreck, I think, somewhere, which I wanted to visit as soon as the sun has risen, which will still take a while. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could paddle over there just to see if we can see any, um, uh, see any boxes in there or something, something, so. Problem is, um, sharks will ram your life raft, which will, uh, on the one hand, um, if you're unlucky, you throw you out, and then good luck getting back in in time. But uh, the more uh, pressing matter is that if you are unlucky and they do that too often, then you have quite a good chance for them to completely destroy the life raft, which would then leave you completely out in the ocean, which isn't great either. So in this case, we have toolbox in here as well, so let me just... Ah, fuck it. Sorry. <laughs> Language. Uh, well, there's a hammer in there, but I forgot we still had uh, the paddle. Question is, do we get rid of the rock for the hammer? Yes, we will, because we will need a hammer anyway. Um... Ah, fuck. No, 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 not in the boat. Dropping stones in the boat is quite a bad idea, by the way. Just, uh, unless you were thinking uh, that might be a good thing. Where's the hammer? There. <clears throat> because, well, obviously, if you put too much stuff in there, it will sink. And um, you can put some stuff in there, but it does have a tendency of... Um, of just uh, falling over like the back of the boat uh, or the life raft really so yeah that's not great either question is now which island we will pick also one thing if you had to decide which one of these two islands is closer this one you know there or the one that's just where the moon is it's say where the moon is right now let's turn a bit now, which island is closer? See, that's... I mean, the, the graphics engine is really beautiful and all, but for some reason this, this, this strange scaling of islands is really not helping, let's just put it this way. So, um, yeah. There's a shark, so we won't go there. Uh, just to make things easier, uh, you know, because one of the biggest problems this game has uh, in terms of you know um, building a well building a base if you will somewhere and, and is that you have to travel over the ocean which also involves uh, avoiding sharks if possible uh, which also involves um, you know like leaving your island so then the problem becomes how do you get back to said island so not get eaten by a shark. Whoa, 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 guys. what the hell happened here? Why did you stop my video? Well, it turns out the video was a bit longer than I anticipated beforehand, so while editing it, I decided to split it into two parts. So, uh, you have now reached the end of the first part of the first recording session I did, and uh, yeah, so we'll just uh, continue with the journey to the other island next video 
and that also means next week then so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider liking and favoriting as always and um, yeah see you next time guys bye bye thanks for watching